to Healthy Cooking for Food Lovers. My name is Marie-France Garon and today we are in Mum's kitchen. This is my mum, Pauline. Um, all those vegetables that we, we we have in the garden that we use for this uh, recipe. So it's called a bouilli de légumes, uh, a bouilli de bœuf aux légumes. Huh? And, uh, but what it is, it's like a, a beef stew and uh, we're gonna cook it in this pot here it's the crock pot so it's a slow cooker we call it crock pot uh, slow cooker it's gonna cook for um, five or six hours but if you don't have one of those you can just use a normal pot huh? mm -hmm. and then give you some time so let's get started because we're just about ready and so we're gonna cook our beef first and in just a little bit of butter and oil and so this should be hot mm. so should be quite hot now we, we put it away but let's just put our beef here yeah it's still we're gonna go so okay so now as you know when um when we cook whatever it is that we cook we must put salt at every step. I have some meat that I've cooked already because uh, just to accelerate the process a little bit. So salt is at every step, not just at the end of the recipe. All the time through the recipe, uh, we put the salt. Mom, would you put the um, pepper? And I'll go this side here and I'll explain uh, my other vegetable. So what's gonna go in there is a um, this turnip, we call it nave. We're gonna have some carrots, and we're gonna have some cabbage, and we have some potato also that's gonna go on top with the meat. And we have some onion here that I will throw in the pan because I like to uh, I like to cook them. Mom, would you look after that? We need to cook all of the sides of the meat just to seal it a little bit. And then after that, we'll send it in the crock pot with the vegetable. And that's about it. It's quite simple. Now, one other little thing that I'm going to do while this is happening here, um, we're going to have some cloves in that recipe. Uh, so we call them clous giraffe. I have four of them here. Uh, so you know what they are, the cloves. So, and what we do is we um, actually put them in the onion like that and why we do that it's simple is because you don't want to chew on those when you uh, when you eat your uh, nice stew so we'll be able to find them there in the in the onion here <laughs> so we just uh, poke the onion with the cloves like that and that will go in the pot really ready huh wait the meat uh, wait wait okay and so Okay, so let's just send that all in here with the rest of the meat that I had already. And mom, a little bit of farine, a peu près de une cuillère, yeah? Okay. So what we're gonna add here now, and I've done that at all the steps when I put some more meat. Ouais. Juste dessus là, un petit peu. Ouais. Okay, perfect. Flour. So we add flour here on top of the meat and what it's going to do, it's going to uh, thicken a little bit the, 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 the sauce, the stock when it's going to cook. So I'm just going to mix that flour with the meat and that's about it. Um, we're just going to bring that here, mum in this pot now i said before if you don't have one of those you use your normal pot uh, here it take much longer five or six hours we're gonna leave it in there but if it was on the stove maybe you would cook uh, about one hour with just the meat and then you add all your veggies and you cook another 25 minutes 30 minutes for the vegetable uh, that's that would be sufficient so what we're gonna add to this now we're gonna put a little bit of red wine in here now a little bit uh, you know I don't measure <laughs> half a cup yeah okay half a cup of red wine Australian wine <laughs> and um, 
so how much is two. there? Two cups two and cups. a bit. Two cups of um, beef stock, all in. Oh, that's perfect. It just covers the meat. It's perfect. And now we're gonna start this cooking first, and I will put it to high, and we'll cover that. And this is gonna cook now. I'll leave it for about. Ça va prendre une heure avant que ça commence, hein? Uh, yeah. So in one hour it's going to start to seem a little bit, so um, I'll let it seem for about one hour and, and a bit and I'll start adding some of the vegetable. Um, I'll add the carrots and the um, navet uh, first and then I'll wait another one hour probably for the cabbage and the potato because they take less time. So. Um, if you were doing in a pot, then you'd stir it a little bit, but we don't want to stir too much with the vegetable because we don't want to mash them. Hein? On veut les garder entier, hein? We don't want to break them. So, um, we'll come back to you and show you the finish uh, dish. It's going to be delicious. We'll eat that for dinner tonight. How's this? And we wait a little bit and uh, we'll... So, this is time. Okay. 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 Time from the garden here, and uh, we have some parsley also. So we're gonna put the thyme right now in the pot because it's gonna give a nice. And then you see this. This is a bunch like that, and we're gonna we're gonna be able to pick it out and take it out right. later. So that goes in the pot here with the meat, and it's gonna give the nice flavor. And then the parsley will put it at the end completely because it keeps the nice green color and it doesn't need to cook long. So exciting! We'll see how it finishes. Thanks, Mom! Thank you, everybody! Bye! Bye.